Yeah. They hate when you elevate. <laughs>
has to be something that's going to wake him up every morning for three months of training, six months, possibly if they, you know, depending on the amount of time they, they, they put him down. I'm sure they, the, the commission has suspended him for a certain amount of time so that he can physically heal from the fight he was in. So more than likely, they're probably not fighting for another six months or so, right? Somewhere in that range. So something has to wake this man up every morning, to get him to run those miles, to do that road work, to do that sparring, to be disciplined to that diet, to that new, to, to that new, you know, that diet that's going to keep him healthy, to be committed to the lifestyle he has to live to prepare himself for uh, Daniel Dubois that he's going into a fight with, knowing that this guy, whatever you may have thought he was before going into that ring, the first time, a lot of boxes have been checked for you, and you know the guy that you're going to be facing if you're going to be entertaining a rematch with Daniel Dubois. So. He has to be motivated. And you have to ask yourself, is regular day-to-day -day boxing, if he was to go fight Joseph Park or Zeli Zhang or Philip Ergovich or, you know, other fights that could be made in the division. And they're all dangerous fights in their own right, right? Every single one of those fights I just mentioned are dangerous fights. What are you doing it for? There has to be purpose. He's in, he's in a chapter of his career where he has to be super purpose-driven. And Anthony Joshua right now, if he can't find that, probably should retire. Probably should walk away from this sport with his head up, knowing that he's accomplished a lot. He's done a lot with his career. He's made more money than, you know, 98% of the of the boxing space. Um, he's a trendsetter. He has a whole he put a whole country together behind him. This man was part of an event with 96,000 people or well, plus people from from what I'm understanding, because I'm hearing rumors of close to 98,000 people. Well, let's say 96,000 people inside of an arena. That's amazing. That's amazing and epic. And and has been involved in some of the biggest heavyweight fight in the past 15 years, 10, 15 years, right? From here to here, him and Klitschko to everything in between that to now, right? And what a redemption tour for him to get back to a point to where he had to rebuild himself, taking these fights with the Jermaine Franklins and the and the um, Robert Hellenians and the, and the um, Otto Valens and so forth and so forth, Francis Aganus, and, and these fights weren't weren't the biggest of biggest fights, but he was rebuilding himself, right? Rebuilding himself from taking two losses from Alexander Usyk and getting himself in position to be back in the situation where he's back in his home country of England in Wembley Arena, filling the place up, 96,000 um, plus uh, fans in the building, filled to capacity. That's an accomplishment. But if Anthony Joshua is going to come back, if he's going to make this something that's going to motivate him, it has to have purpose, and the purpose is going to be redemption. Redemption is the only thing that I see makes sense. So if he really believes he can do this, then of course, as a fan of boxing and as a fan of Anthony Joshua, we got to be here and I'm going to support that. I'm here to see it. Let's see what you can do. Let's see if you can make the improvements because no matter what anybody wants to say going into this fight, well, I would say 90% of the people I know believed Anthony Joshua was going to win that fight. And the, my friends are boxing fans, right? Not a bunch of little casuals who are just looking at, you know, Marvel characters and being like, oh, Superman can be Batman. No, this is based off of us understanding the fundamentals and the weapons he brings to the, to the space, to the ring, and Daniel Dubois, what he brings to the ring. And one thing that we thought was going to separate them was going to be the experience, the understanding of what it takes to win these big fights that Daniel Dubois now has shown that he understands how to do it. Right. Him and his team. Congratulations to the whole team, by the way, Don Charles, his father, everybody over there who, who helped prepare him and get him ready for that fight. He now knows what Anthony Joshua's been known. Did Anthony Joshua show us the best version of himself in that night? I doubt it. I doubt it. Can Anthony Joshua pick his hands up instead of letting him sit there by his chest, sometime by his shorts? I think he could do that. Right? Can he let his hands go more? Of course he can. Can he pick up where he left off in that fifth round right before he got knocked out? When he was let that right hand go and he was catching Daniel Dubois and he had Daniel Dubois on his back foot. Can he take some things away from this fight that he can bring into the next fight? That can that can contribute to a big victory and a big redemption story a big redemption story yeah i think he can i think if he bites down pause <laughs> and really is honest with himself 
and takes the proper steps to improve himself. And Ben Davidson is honest with himself and honest with Anthony Joshua about how they contributed to this loss, then of course they can do it. Why not? So yeah, let it be what it's going to be. But if Anthony Joshua does come back, it most definitely should be against Daniel Dubois. And if it can't be against Daniel Dubois, then in my personal opinion, he should just consider retiring and walking away from the sport. As I said earlier, with his head up, head hell high for accomplishing the things that he did accomplish. This is a two-time unified heavyweight champion. We can't take that lightly, right? Daniel Dubois within himself has put the whole division on notice. I think that performance from Daniel, look, we'll do that in another video. Let's talk about Daniel Dubois in another video. But as far as the Anthony Joshua situation is concerned, a rematch clause, it's the only thing that makes sense if Anthony, jo to me, if Anthony Joshua wants to continue boxing, is to fight Daniel Dubois and to redeem that moment, to put himself back into the conversation of where he should be which is in a conversation of fighting Tyson Fury or Alexander Usyk for undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. That's what he should be doing. And if he can't do that, then consider moving on and being who you are. That's how I feel about it. It's your boy, Rain. Once again, shout out to all my subscribers. Like I said to the people who are just now seeing the content, this is your first time and you're not subscribed. Do yourself a service. Don't do yourself a disservice. Hit that damn uh, subscribe button. Hit your bell icons so you are getting alerts when all this content is dropping. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, 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 subscribe. And at this point, we out.